So Dr. Gelruden, speaking about acute pancreatitis, what are its causes and what are the symptoms that people have when they get acute pancreatitis? So acute pancreatitis has a very broad range of causes of reason why people will develop pancreatitis. The ones that we see the most are what is called biliary pancreatitis and excessive use of alcohol that will induce pancreatitis. Biliary pancreatitis basically means that in the gallbladder, which is the reservoir that we have just below the liver, that it's draining together to the same ducts where the pancreas is going to drain. Uh, in occasions, it may have stones, it may have sludge. The small ones may come out, get impacted transitly, and trigger the pancreatitis. So biliary pancreatitis basically means that there's a small stone that came out from the gallbladder, impacted, and triggered you know, the problem for the patient. That would be biliary pancreatitis, which is frequently seen. The other one is excessive alcohol use. And here we're talking about either binge drinking or people that are drinking you know, a lot every day that may develop pancreatitis also because of the toxic effect that alcohol has over the pancreas. And then we have other etiologies that are less common, like patients that have problems with the thyroid, patients that have autoimmune conditions, uh, patients that have very high calcium levels, you know, in occasion that would be the way that we diagnose some uh, parathyroid conditions. That's a way that we'll diagnose, in some occasions, cancer disease. And uh, talking about cancer, very rare, but we also see it, cancer presenting as pancreatitis, when you have a tumor that may be small or, or whatever size that may be blocking the pancreatic duct and triggering pancreatitis. We also have genetic conditions that lead to pancreatitis. So that's something to keep in mind as well, but those are you know, less common. Mm -hmm. So what I understand is that about 80% of patients with acute pancreatitis will have either gallstones as the cause or alcohol. And I would just add too that there's some other causes such as medications that Absolutely. people can take and sometimes cause it, as well as having a high level of triglycerides, which is a type of fat in the blood. And that seems to especially affect younger patients with acute pancreatitis. And that's a very good point, and that's something that we see frequently in the clinic as well.